from an amazing mouse that can regrow its own skin in a matter of days to a remarkable jellyfish that is biologically immortal. Here's a group of animals that have insane superhuman abilities or attributes. The lyrebird. It's this bird's syrinx or vocal organ that gives it its superhero-like ability. Of all the songbirds or passerines, the lyrebird's syrinx has the most complex muscles, giving the bird extraordinary vocal abilities. During the mating season, they're known to sing for hours upon hours every day, and they have a variety of sounds to choose from. They can mimic individual songs of other birds, or even the chatter of a flock of birds. If it so chooses, the lyrebird can sound like other animals, such as the sleepy koala, or the mischievous dingo. Though the phenomenon is unusual and often exaggerated, reports say that the bird could even mimic human noises like car engines, chainsaws, camera shutters, and the human voice. Skin Shedding Mouse. Now there's a scene in Terminator 2 where the Terminator sheds off his own outer layer of human skin, exposing the metal hand beneath. It's very dramatic, but imagine how much more horrifying it would be if he had pulled the skin off only to reveal normal human flesh, bone, and blood beneath. Now that would have been something. If humans are ever able to harness the skin shedding abilities of the African spiny mouse, this fictional grotesque scenario could one day be a possible reality. African spiny mice have incredibly weak skin, a terrible setback for most creatures. When attacked, they have the ability to lose large strips of the skin, allowing them to escape hungry predators who mean them nothing but harm. However, they are inevitably left with horrific wounds. Now here's where their superhuman abilities come into play. They are able to heal themselves with incredible speed. Within one day, the wound ceases to bleed, scabs over, and shrinks by nearly two thirds. New skin completely covers the wound within just three days. The Immortal Jellyfish. Now this species of jellyfish, scientifically referred to as the Turritopsis dornii, has somehow found a path to eternal life, something that, though we've been trying for thousands of years, remained unable to duplicate. When the wounded by physical attack or environmental stress become sick or old, the immortal jellyfish can revert back to its young or polyp stage and start its life anew. As exciting as these creatures and their ability is, they aren't as extensively studied by scientists as many other creatures. Projects related to creatures like jellyfish are generally underfunded. Also, immortal jellyfish are incredibly difficult to study and maintain in captivity. They require constant attention, including but not limited to daily inspection. These reasons mean that only one doctor, Shin Kubota from Japan's Kyoto University, a man who is a minor celebrity in his country, think Japan's Bill Nye, has been able to sustain a group for a prolonged period. While observing his immortal jellyfish over the span of two years, Kubota says that they rebirthed 11 times. Don't sleep on them. Dolphins need to breathe every once in a while, and that, combined with the ever-present threat of being attacked, means that it must be hard for dolphins to get good sleep. Well, it is nearly impossible as a matter of fact, so they've adopted a method of sleeping that'll make nearly any human green with envy. They can sleep with one eye open and one eye closed, shutting down half the brain while keeping the other half active. This allows them to float to the surface to breathe and look out for approaching sharks while still gaining the benefits of sleep. Now how cool would it be if we could do things like wander to the fridge or go to the bathroom congenitively while still sleeping? Flying snake. While we can't fly of our own accord, we have invented plenty of objects that give us the ability within the last century. Outside of these machines and creatures with wings, there are a few select animals like the flying squirrel, which is coming up, or the flying snake, that though they seemingly should not be able to, they can achieve degrees of flight on their own. The flying snake propels itself from tree branches, converting its body into a C shape that allows them to trap air. By undulating rapidly, they can turn themselves in the air and glide for great lengths. Their ability to direct themselves mid-flight makes them better gliders than the mammalian equivalents like the flying squirrel. 
flying squirrel. Okay, so both this and the flying snake are misnomers since neither creature can really fly, but flying snake sounds a lot cooler than gliding snake, and they both have incredible gliding abilities that make them more than worthy of being on this video. In this creature, the flying squirrel has adopted a patagium, or a parachute-like membrane that stretches from the feet to the wrists, and this allows them to glide between trees for remarkable lengths. Flying squirrel flights have been recorded to be as long as nearly 300 feet. Desert kangaroo rat. Now, these rats aren't like most of the species. They hop around and have long back legs, a lot like, you guessed it, a kangaroo. But the name and these characteristics are not what makes the desert kangaroo rat superhuman. These animals can survive for an incredibly long time without water from their environment. They get all they need thanks to metabolic water, which is water created within a creature by oxidizing energy from food. It's why these creatures can be found all over the deserts of southwestern North America, including the hottest place on the entire continent, Death Valley. A friendly olfactory. Dogs and their acute sense of smell are perhaps one of the most well-known and remarkable animal traits. Dogs have 25 times more smell receptors than we do, allowing them to smell things 100,000 times better. These receptors lead to an olfactory cortex that is 40 times larger in dogs than it is in humans. In recent years, studies have led to promising evidence pointing to dogs' abilities to detect cancer through their olfactory. Cancerous cells release different metabolic waste products than healthy cells. Dogs can smell this difference. A research hospital in Milan took urine samples from 320 men with prostate cancer and 357 without. Two dogs were used in the study, and when taken together, they had an incredible 98% accuracy rate. freezing frogs. Now, it's really hard to live in cold environments. It's probably why nearly twice as many people live in Hawaii than in Alaska, despite the latter having much more land than the former. Thanks to their superhuman ability, wood frogs love the cold. It's why you can find them all over Alaska and other frigid parts of North America. During winter, they go dormant close to the surface, usually under some leaves. Of course, the temperature drops well below freezing, conditions that would be disastrous for almost any other creature. The wood frog has little to fear, though, as it can handle up to 65% of its body freezing and still be perfectly fine. So even as the temperatures drop below zero, the frogs remain perfectly calm and comfortable as they patiently wait for winter to pass. Long-lived sharks. Lying in the inhospitable depths of the northern Atlantic Ocean, the Greenland shark has a lifespan that can only be equaled by the likes of fictional creatures. Researchers recently found that these animals can live as long and even longer than 400 years, making them the longest known living vertebrates on the planet. The team also found that they grow at a remarkably slow rate, just one centimeter a year, and do not reach full maturity until they're 150 years old. Before this research was concluded and disseminated last year, the longest known living vertebrate was the bowhead whale, who could live up to around 211 years. On land, tortoises and tuatara, reptiles endemic to New Zealand, have lifespans that can be well over 100 years. A Henry, this studly male tuatara living in the Southland Museum and Art Gallery, became a father for what was likely the first time in 2009 at the age of 111. That's the way to get the job done, old boy. Lick it up. Human tongues don't get much longer than four inches, and those things are pretty freaky. While they can be an advantage for some people, just ask Gene Simmons, there's no real reason, evolutionarily speaking, for them to come any further out of our mouths than they already do. Now, the same cannot be said, however, for a few animals that have insanely long tongues. The aardvark has one that extends a full foot. Perhaps more shocking is the European green woodpecker. Despite being significantly smaller than humans, their tongues are slightly longer, around four inches on average. That's one third of the body length. So where does all of that tongue go when they're not using it? Although you can't see it because it's under the skin, the tongue coils behind the skull and over the bird's eyes. And these two creatures have such long tongues for the same reason. They both subsist on ants, whose nests often run deep into the ground. Frog hoppers. As far as jumping ability goes, 
Fleas are probably best known in the animal world for their ridiculous leaps in relation to the body size. They come in second, however, to frog hoppers. As nymphs or spittle bugs, they have been known to jump 100 times their own length, which in human terms is like a six-foot person being able to jump 600 feet in the air. Mexican Salamander Though many amphibians possess varying degrees of regeneration, the Mexican salamander, or axolotl, is particularly remarkable in this department. It can regenerate limbs, jaws, skin, and even spinal cords without any evidence of scarring. Lab tests have also shown that they have the insane ability to successfully receive transplanted organs from other individuals. Now, unfortunately, we're going to have to leave everyone on a bad note. These animals are only located in one place, and that is Mexico's Lake Xochimilco. If not for their remarkable regenerative abilities, which have garnered great interest in both medical research and amongst private collectors, they would likely be extinct. Now, as it stands, they are critically endangered, but they may be completely extinct in the wild, only surviving in captivity, though they can be found around the world in this capacity.